Hey guys. Good morning. The vest was like right behind us and I thought, well, I'm gonna be, we're gonna be answering questions that were one of you guys sent us and uh, they're mostly like medication involved. So I thought, well, I guess we can just leave the vest there. Perfect it's background. The appropriate backdrop. Yeah. So one of my friends had quite a few questions, really good, thoughtful <laughs> medication questions. And I thought we would just sit down and go through these and answer a few of these questions. Let's be real, a lot of you are medical nerds. We all know this, we are a community of caring individuals who also love the medical details, right? So. Well, and maybe you didn't love the medical details, but you came along on our journey and you've acquired some terminology and I think the more you know, the more you know. There you go. Said it, it was said here, folks. The more you know. The All more right. you know. What kind of questions you okay. got? Okay. How often does your pill routine change? Ooh, that's a good question. It depends on, so we have just celebrated 10 years of marriage. And in our 10 years of marriage, my pill routine has changed in that <laughs> he's having allergies. Yeah, I don't have the Rona. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I used to have single individual, actually this does divide. This is my favorite cobbler <laughs> of all time. I've had a lot of them. This one's 10 bucks on Amazon. I highly recommend it. Just type in like rainbow pill organizer and it'll come up. I like how the windows stay open when you pop them open. I like that this separates, although I keep it together all the time. Anyway, I used to keep like the morning one. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm trying not to cough. You can cough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how the rolls have switched. Yeah. <laughs> I used to keep like the morning one on our dresser and the evening one down in the living room. I forget which house, which apartment, whatever. But now I keep them both. And as of the last six months, maybe, this has been my routine. Are you ready? I'm not. Okay, there we go. I legit carry this tray downstairs every morning. I have my inhalers, I have my pill case, I have my trichafta, I have a glucometer, I have Zofran, I have a thermometer. I literally have almost everything that I will need in this tray. I take my pills and then it's nighttime, we're going upstairs. <laughs> carry this upstairs. I have a question about this. Do you want to get some tea or something? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm totally fine. Okay. It's <coughs> certain times of the day my allergies are worse. Okay, it's one of those times. <laughs> my question is, it seems like a clunky system, but I will acknowledge that this has worked. But like, would, would like, <laughs> like your tray you're like walking down the stairs it feels clunky okay but are you thinking like why not a duffel bag or like something, <laughs> something? i don't know what you do instead of this i but. have to say it's because i can see it all that it helps and i'm not rifling through well a little bit i am but i have everything i need i feel like i should make you a custom like this and then this fits here and then <laughs> well do you remember what i used to have to do well she used to have this <laughs> string how did you attach I it i taped it taped a string like literally like a, a yarn. yarn yarn string and it her <laughs> her inhaler would dangle from her pill case i would forget to do my inhaler i had to have it taped together i'm beyond that now Okay, but so it worked. I recommend it. Back to your pill routine. So has my pill routine changed? Absolutely. It changes probably twice a year. I mean, honestly. In terms of <laughs> what pills you're taking? Or no, just okay, so that's the next question. Okay, all right. Just kind of like... Yeah, like how that. you go through, yeah. how you take them morning yeah. and evening, that sort of thing. And it changed when I started Trikafta because when you take Trikafta, you have to have fat or calories with it. 
so I have to make sure I'm drinking some whole milk or having a snack or something like that. It does feel like there, now that you're on Trikafta, there is a much more steady routine because of the eating and, and the, you, got you, it. you gotta take it. You gotta take it. <laughs> Just meaning my health would. It depends upon it. It's important. The next question is, have you been on the same pills the majority of your life? I want you to answer this because I don't know if you know this. Um, okay. So, I'll, I guess I could go through your medications and think of when you started them. But, I don't, I mean I know like. Let's, can we do it this way? Okay. When I was a child, do you know which medications I was on? Okay. Does That's that work? That's a good work? question. I'm guessing, okay, I'm going to guess at least because yeah. I don't know. Totally. I'm going to guess. Well, I'll give you my reasoning too. I know like Ursodal you started when you were 11. Uh, 10, but yeah. 10, okay. Um, I'm guessing you always had your CF vitamins? Yes, I think so. Did you take ADEX as a kid? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing pancreatic enzymes I don't oh you took all trace I took all trace and pancrease and then uh yeah Zen okay, can, can I look at one of these get a cheat sheet sure um <laughs> okay you haven't always been on like iron right um omeprazole now I don't know when you started like omeprazole I'm guessing that was a little later I had stomach weirdness though so I okay. was on like Zantac when I was like probably 10, 12. I started in that range. Okay. But then that has morphed over the years. I mean, so I'm curious when you started Zithromax. I started Zithromax three times a week. Uh, I want to say 13-ish. Well, now, did you, were you in a trial for that or no. was that? That I was, was after the trial. It was either, yeah, it was around the time when they were doing trials to see if long-term Zithromax would be beneficial for anti-inflammatory properties for CF patients. And so that's why I was put on it for that possible Isn't benefit. That crazy. You've been on an antibiotic for 20 some years. Yeah, it's crazy. Three times a week. You are, you're nailing it by the way. Well, I'm trying to think. I, I, I'm guessing maybe calcium was something added later on. Yeah, teenager. Um, I mean, all most of the stuff I'm thinking it was later teenager or college. I do remember, so you're right. Um, I remember as a child, I needed, uh, which vitamin was it? Hold on, I want to call my mom and ask her. <laughs> do you remember when Palmazon came out? I was seven years old. Seven, okay. And then hypertonic saline, was that at the same time or? No. Before or after? Um, <laughs> I started hypertonic way later, like high school, <laughs> but I couldn't do hypertonic saline seven percent. Hey, hey here. I'm filming. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> um, what was that vitamin that I used to love to take? It was like a liquid. Aqua E. E. Okay, liquid vitamin Liqu E. Liquid, liquid. Yeah, liquid E. Liquid. It was so good. I liked it. Rachel hated it. Oh, I was really? Thinking about those uh, <laughs> those Adex the other day, and I'm like, man, I had to, you guys had to eat those for so long. <laughs> they were terrible. They were so gross. You're filming. Okay. We're, okay. we're filming. You want to say hi? Hey, everybody. Okay. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Okay. Love you. Bye. Okay, yeah, it was liquid vitamin E, and I used to be like, Mom, do you think I need the liquid E? <laughs> so, CF patients have trouble absorbing fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K specifically, um, so that's why the liquid E. Anyway, yeah. uh, I remember taking that and yeah. enjoying that. Um, it, it is interesting that a bulk of what's in there is a result of your body's absorption problems. Yes, that is an so, interesting you, point. You know, you've got calcium, vitamin D, and um, vitamin K. Vitamin K, your CF vitamin, which is A, D, E, and K. Plus other stuff. And so a lot of, you know, 
That's that's interesting. Yeah. And then you've got your liver enzymes that was discovered in a research study. At 10 ish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, crazy. Um, and then, so was it, are you, were you on the majority of the pills your whole life or were they added one by one? And that's exactly what it was. You know, then when I was 10 or 12, whatever age it was, the Zithromax was added. And then, you know, when I was 10, I'm going in backwards order here, but when I was 10, they discovered my liver enzymes were high. So Ursodiol was added and, uh, and then I had a lot of stomach issues or my like acid reflux started. So then Imeprazole was added and then... But this is, this is fascinating to me though, because if you think about CF, you think lung disease, but I only two medications, Zithromax and Trikafta are really addressing the lungs specifically. The pills. Yeah, the, the pills. Of the pills. Yes, and then you have your inhaled and stuff. But I like if it, if you ask me, does Mary take the pills for her lungs or more nutrition and digestion? I would have said lungs, but it's That's interesting. so much as like malabsorption. I yeah, I hadn't realized that. And then on the other side of healthcare, not the pill side, but like the therapy and intervention side, therapy takes the majority for my lungs. Yes. And interventions, like when I'm having exacerbations, <laughs> interventions are for my lungs. Um, so. Interesting. Yeah, it so, is. So I guess in saying all that, it it's interesting to note that's why being on track after and her doing better still need a lot of this stuff. Yeah, definitely. It is it is amazing how Trikafta can go in and help that protein uh, exchange yeah. something mechanism cellular mechanism at a cellular level, and it helps and affects so many areas of life, like my lungs, l less mucus production. Um, well, by coughing and throwing up less, less energy burning. I mean, yeah. my lungs still don't work like a normal person's. So I'm still burning calories just breathing, um, you know, a little extra but it's not like it used to be so maintaining weight is a lot more doable and but yeah it is it's interesting yeah and and i, and, uh, I mean it's kind of assumed that trikafta do, trikafta does help in the digestive nutritional side of things yep. i think it's we don't have as many like correlations like direct correlations but yeah i think in years to come there will be much more information yeah. about the specifics. I mean, many patients take less enzymes and overall I do take less enzymes. There are still, I, it seems to come in waves when I'm able to do less enzymes and then it's like, oh, nope, needed more enzymes. Need to bump it back up to my normal. So it comes and goes for me. Does your body get immune to doses of medication? Do I need to bump up, bump up? I... I think one area that has always been like a dosage problem or like troubleshooting is the acid reflux. Yep. It seems like we have a good regimen now. The last week was a little weird. Really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't tell him that, but um, yeah, so the Oh, the acid reflux, that uncomfortable thing that you can't stop thinking about when it's happening. It's important to keep it under control for lung patients because if there is like silent, is it the silent reflux? I forget what it's called, but like aspiration reflux. So if you are refluxing and then it gets into your lungs, that would be really dangerous and bad. And so it's important to keep it under control. And then with new information, you know, they found out that ranitidine, like Zantac, <coughs> can be harmful potentially. So if you're able to switch off of that, then that's what you should try. So 
a year and a half ago, they switched me to Fomodidine. Yeah, Fomodidine. And it's working fine. I do have to say, during the transplant evaluation week, I had to be off of all of my reflux drugs because of a test they were doing. And that was one of the things I was least looking forward to, having a week where I was off those meds. And it was uncomfortable. And it's fascinating, Mary's always said, if it, you know, if you had to take away a med and I would feel it right away, well, all trace and that, but now it's trichapta. <laughs> and Prilosec. <laughs> and Prilosec, yeah. If, so basically, if I forgot to take my medicines, I wouldn't know it except Prilosec. Prilosec, pancreatic Pan enzymes, and now trichapta. So, yeah. So that being said, we're talking like, if I forget to take my calcium, my cystic fibrosis vitamin, even the Zithromax, the antibiotic, or the um, liver enzyme med, I'm not gonna feel it. I'm not gonna notice it. I'm not gonna be like, oh no, why am I not feeling good? I forgot my meds. And by that, she just means like immediate, like that yeah. day. Obviously, it wouldn't be good for her body in the long term yeah. to not take those things. Yeah. It is really interesting to think about how not only CF, CF treatment has changed, but some of it's very, very the same. Like Ursodiol is a liver enzyme medication that I'm on to help my liver. And it's the same exact drug I've been on since I was 10. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's doing its job. Yeah. On the other hand, I'm on a brand new medication that's changing my life, Trichafta. Yeah, it's amazing. Thank Crazy. you for caring and like supporting me in the medicine realm because sometimes I feel like I just want to throw this tray across the room. Except this one, I'll keep this one. <laughs> um, yeah, but good questions and I, I know that there are a lot of other questions. So let us know in the comments if you have any other medication related questions. Maybe we'll do another Q&A. It's a riveting topic. No, it is, it's interesting. And it it's so different for every patient. So mm -hmm. if you are somebody who takes a lot of medications, this is probably like different than your experience. And so it's fun to hear different people's experiences, but thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Good night. Okay, let's take a thumbnail. Yeah.